Okay, folks, so in the last tutorial, I had both AIs working pretty well. They're following me. I'm running around. I can jump, but I can't do any other actions. And there are some other actions that are animated in these characters. So I'm going to show you another way to get them to work. So right now in third person, in our blueprints, we have a third person character that we've been working with. When the game starts, the BP third person game mode calls out and says, place the BP third person character. So if we open this up and pull this into the screen, it says default player class, BP third person character. And what we can actually do is change this to one of the other characters that's in here. So Terra player character, I can go ahead and change that. And now I'm gonna save it and compile it. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So now when I press play, I am gonna get this character, which is being controlled very different. And actually look at that, when I'm clicking, she's actually animated to swing. But unfortunately, that's it. I'm pushing keys, I'm moving the mouse, nothing else is happening. Well, if I go and navigate to Terra and open this up and go into characters and go into heroes and go into Terra, the Terra player character is the thing that we've now set our character to be. So if I edit this, this is where all of this controls happens. And there seems to have been a major update from Unreal 4 to Unreal 5. All these characters were built with Unreal 4. And now that we're in Unreal 5, this character script is actually broken. And once I've opened it up, I can't compile it. There's warnings. It doesn't work. But these are actually some pretty straightforward things. So I'm going to go and look for the things that have these warnings on them. And input access turn rate. OK, well input access turn rate that has to do with the gamepad. So gamepad left thumbstick turn rate would be like left right. Um, so that's going to be gamepad left thumbstick x axis. Oh, that is not that I need an action. Gamepad X axis. So these are gamepad events. So gamepad left thumbstick X axis. If I grab that and I place this axis in here and replace the other pin with this pin, I can delete this old outdated input axis turn rate. Or I, I think I probably could define redefine what the input access turn rate is, but it's easier for me to do this, I feel like. I'm right clicking in here, I'm saying gamepad left y axis. And again, I'm looking for gamepad events, y axis, there we go. Plugging in this value here and this value over here and deleting it. Now, normally I like to test things as I go, but because we have these compiling errors, you have to fix all the errors before you can actually test it. Um, press R to reset VR orientation and position. I, last time I did this, I just deleted this, but let's see if there is a reset VR or even, let's see, VR. Yep, so contact sensitive back on. I hate to say this, I haven't figured it out for VR. I just I just deleted that because we're not using VR. If you ever want to use VR, I will have that figured out by the end of this academic year. Uh, and then we do mouse. And left right is I think it's actually mouse left right. Turn right, left mouse. J 
just fixing all of these values. I'm using input access look up down mouse. That's what I used before. This should work. There are other things that are showing up in there. And I wonder if they work slightly differently, but these definitely work. Um, movements. Input access move forward. Is this for gamepad? Move forward backwards. Move right, move left. And I think that's everything. And now I can say compile and save and close this and try pressing play. So I land, I can move forward. I can move left and right. I can jump and I can swing and attack. So huge improvement here. Attack, jump. I'm also liking the way that it will pivot. So I'm feeling pretty good. And there you have it. I have a m much more animated character. I now have these attack swings. Uh, and there are other functions that are in there that are based on the character. I'm hitting escape. Um, there's more that is inside here. Actually, I can look at the, the Terra player. Simple attack setup, uh, left button, combo attack, attack count. Oh, let's try that really quick. Let's see if that works. So one attack. No, they look like they're the same every time. Well, that's a bummer. Um, but it looks like it's possible to have an attack count that, that varies. Interesting. Hmm. Something to look into in a future tutorial. But uh, hopefully this will be useful. Um, have some fun with it and uh, look into some of those other animations. All right, see you all soon.